I'm making some fresh pasta today. We're using, we're making some extruded pasta, which might be different for some people. You get smart by not knowing how to do shit, dad. <laughs> and wanting to be able to do stuff so you can go learn. When it's something you actually care about and want to do, it's amazing how fast you can learn how to do it. I mean, that's just a tip. I, I don't, I figured that out by watching another streamer do it. But he has a whole, see, this one streamer that I watch, he can switch between his computer to, he has a computer in his room, his main streaming room, he has a computer in his kitchen, and he has a computer, like, it's, he has a whole bunch of shit. And he has, like, four phones and, like, four GoPros, and everybody's wearing them. And, but he has his own dedicated server that he owns, which is, like, thousands and thousands of dollars to get and then maintain. So he streams to that specific server in, in which he can unload three different computers onto one server. So you can just stream, he can seamlessly stream between different cameras, different point of views, different rooms, different computers and everything, like different microphones, it's just nuts. So there's a lot that goes into it. And I mean, it's, it's setting up a stream on your computer is easy. You just download the program and go live. But when it comes to like streaming wirelessly, that's a whole different spectrum, man. That's like, and luckily for GoPro, the newer ones, they made it easy because you can get the RNTP server, which you, that's what you can stream to. So whatever your stream key is, that's what I do every time I set this up is I go in. Now I can just show you guys since you can see it. So this is like the live stream of the GoPro right here, this this program. This is how I'm controlling this GoPro. So before I did this, I put in all my info. I have to put in my information every single time and then go live. So it's kind of annoying, but that's how it, that's how it works. <clears throat> But, yeah. Anyway, let's get to pasta. So, I'm going to see if I can do this on this work surface since it's kind of small. But, hey, we'll figure it out. So, what I'm going to do is, so I'm just going to basically, what I have is semolina flour. This is the best flour to make, you know, pasta, pizza dough. Uh, I make some kind of bread with it, I think, too. It's Italian kind of durum wheat. Uh, yellow flour, I don't, I don't know, super fine, so it's really good for pasta. I'm just going to do the, the recipe that's on the bag, so it's like one and a quarter cup of semolina, which I have here, and then two eggs beaten, which I have in here. And it calls for olive oil, I don't have olive oil, I don't really like the taste of olive oil, so I'm just going to use a little bit of canola oil in place of that, and it's like two tablespoons or so, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. So about two tablespoons, and then we also need about two tablespoons of water. So one, two-ish, maybe a splash more. Okay. And then some salt. And that's basically the wet ingredients. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna get into it here. So basically I'm just gonna pour this out onto my board, kind of like a pile. And then just like you see on every other cooking show and everything like that, they're gonna make a well in the middle. Right. I'm not quite sure how much pasta this is gonna make, but we'll kind of figure it out together. So we're gonna make a well in the middle so we can kind of start incorporating everything. And I kind of like to do it, I, like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so, or a lot, I haven't made fresh pasta a lot, but, so my old job, the chef always did it, so. But I'm basically just gonna kind of stir it in slowly, just so he doesn't like stick to the cutting board and stuff like that, and start working in the flour into the pasta. You know what I mean? So we're just kind of doing it as we go here. Like I said, you're going to get messy, so <laughs> I'm not good at this kind of stuff. I'll tell you that much. But you're basically going to work it into a dough until it becomes all nice and homogenous. I don't think there's really anything else to it other than just making sure you get it into a dough that you can work with. And you can slowly keep adding water and things to it 
I might be messing this up 100%. Italians are probably yelling at me, but hey, it is what it is. It's almost kind of like making biscuits or pie dough. But you can see it coming together as we speak. That's why I didn't, that's why I like to put all the wet ingredients in at once because you never really know how much you're actually going to need. You know, based off the humidity in the air or the temperature of your house and everything like that, it's going to change how much you need based off your, on the recipe. So that's why you always can add and take, you can add more, but you can't take away. So, all right. So then basically what we're going to do it's just kind of knead this dough until it gets kind of smooth. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour down over top of it here. So we're just kind of kneading it like bread dough. I should have floured my surface first, huh? You can tell I'm not a baker. All right, there we go. That should do her. Yeah. So then we're gonna knead the dough until it becomes nice and smooth. like a minute or so and then we're going to kind of let it rest for about 10 minutes 15 minutes kind of while we're getting everything everything else ready and then just so it kind of rests and can soften up so it's not super chewy and everything like that but we're just kind of kneading this dough here I mean, you can see I'm kind of just going around the flour because I don't want to dry it out either. So I'm just kind of adding flat, more flour as I need it. But yeah, that's looking good, man. Right? So there's your pasta dough. Nice little dough ball. Just a little bit more. It would be smart to stream to Facebook too at the same time, but like <clears throat> the program that I have to use for that in order to stream to my Canigan page, it's like a paid, it's a paid service. So I have to pay monthly to do that. Otherwise, I have to stream to my just personal profile, which is me, which isn't the same thing. I mean, it's just fine, but that's not what I want to do. That's what I did last time, but yeah. But like I said, I'm only eight followers away from affiliate, Twitch affiliate, which is I've made that faster than I thought. And I've already done the hardest parts, which is maintaining three average viewers and streaming, which is actually the hardest part for a lot of people, because a lot of people that I see out there have like 100, 200 followers, but can't get the three, average of three viewers or anything like that. So what that's telling me is, is like people, you see a lot on the internet, like follow for follow and like just follow my account and stuff like that. But the people that are following them aren't actually watching them because if they're not getting an average of three viewers then, and you have about 200 followers and what, you know, if you can't get three of them to watch you, you know, <laughs> it's not even 1% of your, of your followership is following you. So I feel like that's not the route you want to go if you actually want to try to make this a career, you know? So that's why I'm kind of focusing on getting my followers more organically and that people that do follow me will actually watch me you know what i mean so because the next step from affiliate is called partner and that's just another step to where you can make even more money and 
most likely that that will then be your full-time job once you get that status because you'll be making enough money monthly off ad revenue and things like that to where you can have a full-time streamer job so that's way down the line though that's a hard that's like that requires an average of 75 viewers and so on and so forth so it's not the easiest thing in the world to get by any means um so let's see here we're done with all this stuff but yeah i admit i'm at 42 followers now you need 50. i've already have all the other requirements that i need so basically what i just need is eight more people to hit that follow button man and i'm golden and I will have achieved a goal that I actually mean something to me in a long time. So, that's the goal. And I've gotten there a lot faster than I thought. Trust me. Trust me. Do I have a bench scraper? A dough scraper? Whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I do, man. I mean, I think I do. I just don't know where it is. Oh, God. I don't want to use that last paper towel because it's my last paper towel. Because, you know, you still can't get them in the stores. So we're just going to use a knife. So I'm hoping by either tonight or tomorrow, I can be at affiliate status. So I can start making money from ad revenue, from subscriptions, from bits. There's this thing that Twitch has where it's like, I don't really know how it works, but it's some form of donation. Outright donations where people can just give me money straight up, which they can do now, honestly, but that just goes through PayPal. But, uh, but yeah, so we're almost there, man. I'm hoping by tomorrow I can get it. I keep posting all over, you know, social media and everything to try and get eight more people to follow me. So we'll see. I might just make eight more email accounts and just do it my damn self. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Like I said, I want to have an organic audience that I actually built myself and can be proud of. So I don't really know what I'm going to make with this pasta. I'm thinking I got some of that Italian sausage left over from the chicken dish we made the other night. I got some tomato I need to use. I got some broccoli I need to use. Oh, oh, I got some parsley we need to use up. So you can make a leftover dish with and fancify it by making your own pasta really quick. And you saw how fast that was to make that dough. So, I mean, it's not like it was rocket science to just follow the recipe on the bag, right? Pour a liquid in and knead it until it's ready. It's pretty much how that went, you know? <laughs> so, pasta doesn't have to be difficult. It just looks scary. When you start rolling it out and making ravioli, that's when it gets kind of technical. But this thing should take care of all the technicality for me so all I gotta do is cut it listen to that noise that sounds so cool okay um let's see so I'm thinking I need some garlic obviously maybe just like an Italian sausage kind of cream sauce real quick simple something like that I got some Parmesan in there too we can use. Make like a Parmesan cream that we used to do in one of my restaurants. I got some tomato puree we can use up too if we need to. So we got options here. I mean, we got some things that can, that can happen, you know? Go ahead and start heating this pan up. I 
shit, I don't know if I want this to rest in the fridge though, do I? What does the bag say? Refer to the bag. Yeah, I think it just needs to be out here at room temp. I don't think it needs to be in the fridge. It just needs to rest. So we'll just kind of put this up here and let that rest. All right, so I'm gonna brown off some sausage. And we'll kind of build a sauce from here. And we can kind of just cook our vegetables in the sauce, which is what I typically do. So let's see, we'll get some garlic going. So anything that was planned about this stream was making fresh pasta, everything else, we're just kind of like winging it, so. It's been a theme of this stream recently with everything going on, so I think it kind of fits. It's uh, a big piece of garlic, man. Good lord. Oh, slipper's coming off. I hate how it's like 80 degrees one day and then like 40 degrees the next. What are we supposed to do with that, man? Garlic up real quick. Doesn't have to be like minced or anything. Can just kind of be nicely sliced like that. Kidding. <clears throat> I still have like probably five or six portions worth of tinga in my freezer too. <laughs> Still got meatballs from the meatball sub in my freezer. So it's pretty crazy what can come out of this. I don't know if I'm gonna use this whole tomato because I don't want a lot of tomato in here, but when it's cooked, it won't be that bad. I need to use it up. We gotta use it up. I need a sharp knife for tomatoes, man. These things are... I feel like there's a number one thing you'll probably cut yourself on if you're working in a kitchen. It's probably going to be tomatoes. Especially if your knife's not sharp enough. You'll just kind of glance right off of it into your hand or something. You'll just kind of be like sitting here and just... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Um, yeah. That's all I need that tomato for. I don't want any more. I'm just going to put it in here. One of these sandwich bags. So I'm gonna start packing my lunch like a little kid when I go to work in my little lunch bag. So my lunch bag is gonna be a plastic bag. <clears throat> Grocery bag, because I have a shit ton of them I need to use. Dark Chance has been, man. I haven't seen him in a minute. I have not seen him in a minute. See, now I'm out of paper towels. What are we going to do? We're just going to use this and we're going to start washing. God damn. All right. So go ahead and chop up some parsley. Just kind of like a rough chop too, just to have it ready. I've been trying to buy paper towels for like three weeks now. I even work at a grocery store and I still can't get them. Alright, we'll start with that. Should be good right there. Alright. And then for this pasta, what we're going to do... 
I guess I'm kind of putting out a plate right here. So that way we can kind of catch the pasta as it comes down. We're gonna put a little flour down on the plate itself so that way it doesn't stick to the plate when it comes out. I'm gonna put a little bit inside of here too, just so it doesn't stick to this thing as well. And yeah, we'll see how it goes when we're ready. This is gonna be cool, I've never used this thing before, so we'll figure it out. I don't know if there's like a certain speed I need to put it on for a rigatoni, but Aha, uh -huh. I do have the book. Oh god, that was loud. I think that's what I have in there. Yeah. Rigatoni. Rigatoni. So, god, we'll see. Oh, it's got, it's got pasta in here too. Aurora, hush. Goodness. Rustic baked rigatoni. Aurora, hush, darling. Goodness, man, go. I guess it doesn't tell you. I know that the mixture has to be like on a certain speed or something in order for it to come out right. Oh, look at that. What did I just say? Many factors such as humidity, brand, or flour used, and size of eggs can affect the dough. Look at that. I'm a walking in kitchen manual. But it doesn't say, I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right. We'll figure it out. I feel like it needs to be like decently fast. I don't know. Well, extruded pasta, probably not. I don't know. That's a hot pan right there, Bill. That's a hot pan, Bill. Just gonna put a little oil in. I need to open the winder. Will you, are you seriously gonna marry, mail me paper towels? Cause yes. <laughs> I don't have any man, our store never ha doesn't have, I have toilet paper but we cannot get paper towels in for whatever reason. Or if we do, by the time I get off work to buy them, they're already gone, so. So let's put some snossage in this thing. A little snossage never hurt anybody. I'm gonna do my best to make enough just for me, cause like, some about leftover pasta, well this is homemade though, so this might be different, but. Some about leftover pasta and me, man, just do not get along. I had to be like in the mood for pasta. Like today I'm in the mood for pasta. Is that another cat outside? Yelling at my cat? There's just one cat in the neighborhood that sits in my chair outside and when Aurora sees that thing, oh my God, I've never heard anything so loud. The way she yells at that thing, man. It's like bloody murder. <laughs> All right, so we got some snossage in. I'm gonna save the rest of this for another something. I don't know what. But one pack of sausage has now gotten me two dishes out of it. So, or three, I can't even remember anymore. So it's gonna let that brown up nice. 
We have a ton at the mall. I mean, shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to paper towels when in need. Cause like a pack of like six rolls will last me forever, man. I think I've only bought in like three packs for in the entire year that I've lived in Raleigh, so. Oh yeah. A nice brown on that sausage, nice and caramelized. I don't know why I call it sausage, but I do. A lot of garlic. Can be like my first fan meal is paper towels. <laughs> so if I ever get famous, <coughs> um, they can be like, "So Ryan, what was your first ever piece of fan meal that you got?" And I'll be like, "Paper towels." Boom. So I just put in some red pepper flakes. And a touch of oregano. Some typical Italian ingredients, you know. I don't know what it is about Thursday streams, man, but for whatever reason, people do not watch Twitch on Thursday. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. <clears throat> Alright, so then we're going to add some chicken stock and then some cream and then our sauce will basically be done. We'll add our broccoli to the sauce and cook it in that. Yeah, well mom is always gonna be my fan, my number one fan, so. Numero uno. So this is some Green Rise organic chicken broth. But that's all they had left. So hooray for being forced to spend more money. Gotta love it. So put a little chicken stock in there. We're gonna reduce it and basically we're deglazing and reducing. And cooking that garlic as well, cooking those tomatoes, all that good stuff. Do it all again. Some parsley. So you can see where I'm going with this, probably. It's gonna be a simple pasta dish, nothing crazy. Although, you know what I am gonna do though, because I know I'm gonna want this. I forgot that I had these back here. Some Sister Sheberts. Sister Sheberts. What do you mean you got Sister Sheberts over here? Got some Sister Sheberts over here? Some Sister Sheberts. Hi right, boys, got Sister Sheberts over here. Shoot. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Sister Schubert's dinner rolls. Numero uno on the planet. Let me tell you what, Bo. I tell you what. Boy, I tell you what. Sister Schubert's, let me tell you what, Bo. Goddamn, Sister Schubert's. <laughs> enough of that. I guess I can put some corn. Some little kern in here too. Maybe some kern? Nah. Fuck it. Alright, so that chicken stock is nice and reduced down. You can see it kind of just made a nice little sauce in itself right there. Gonna add some cream to it. Gonna add some cream to it. And a touch more stock. Because I don't want it to be all cream based stock. And then we cannot forget the number one ingredient of butter. Oh, look at that. Perfect size. Look at that. Oh. Probably gonna do a, a Doom stream tonight too, play some games since I'm off tomorrow as well. I'm feeling gamer, I'm feeling in some gamer modes. That game is so fun too. I've lost my mind. I've never had, yeah. 
It's been gone. Let me tell you what. It's been gone. All right. So let's turn this down a little bit since we're not quite there yet. But there we go. That's looking good, man. That's looking good. So we're gonna re-season a little bit. You actually, I don't know that this this chicken stock is not unsalted, is it? It is not. So we'll be careful with that salt there. But pepper, we definitely need. All right. So how we doing? Dough. How we how we feeling, boo? Nice and soft. I'm gonna let it. What we at? I'm gonna let it go for like three more minutes. And then we got some parmesan here, some grated parmesan, which is the best kind in my opinion, because it melts into sauces fast. It's good for a topping. It's really good. Nice and salty and crispy, crunchy, crispy, crunchy peanut buttery butterfingers. I haven't had a Butterfinger in so long. Mm, this smells good, man. This smells good. I'm actually gonna add a touch of honey in there just because of that acidity from the tomatoes. Not a lot, just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. And there we go. I hope I get affiliate tomorrow, today or tomorrow, man. That'd be so cool. I'm losing water here, Captain. I'm losing water here, Captain. Because then I can put <clears throat> in my Twitter profile and my Instagram Twitch affiliate. Like it's my job. That'd be cool. Instead of Publix meat cutter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the goal. Eight followers away, man. Eight followers away. I think unless someone else has followed since then. No, 42. We need to get to 50. That's crazy though, because like, I see a lot of stuff about it because I'm in like this different kind of community on Twitter where it's a bunch of small streamers, you know? And they post pictures of like, like I said, having like hundreds of followers, but they have like zero views. Like I have more views than a lot of them at like 200 and something. And less followers than any of them. So, who knows, man? Who knows how this algorithms and all this shit works? It's crazy when you think about it like the metrics because like I, I watch one guy man on twitch that he gets he averages probably about 90 80 90 viewers nothing crazy but he has almost a thousand subscribers which equals roughly about two to three thousand dollars in revenue for him every month and he only has 90 people watching him right and that's just from the subscriptions he also gets ad revenue as well so on top of that he probably makes another extra 500 to a thousand dollars a month from the ad revenue with 90 people watching him. So you can see where this can go. You don't have to be some huge famous content creator that's on everybody's Twitter feed doing something stupid every day. You know, you can just be a normal, wholesome community that can support each other, not just the content creator. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm saying, man. We're almost there. I'm six, I'm getting, I'm getting antsy now because we're almost there. So I just want it to happen like now, you know? But I just know that's not how it works, so. But we're getting ready to use this damn thing. If I can figure out how. <laughs> I'd say it's probably fast enough right there, man. So we'll go with that. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. But I said we just go ahead and do it. Fuck okay. it. Let's find out. So, our pasta dough here has been chilling. Been chilling like a villain. So, from what I understand how you use this thing, you basically just kind of get a nice little ball of dough here. 
Oh, maybe not, dude. Well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that should be fine. So you get a nice little ball of dough. Maybe a little bit smaller than that, maybe. And then, apparently, I'm just going to kind of roll it around some semolina so it doesn't stick. Some semolina. It got all gasoline. Okay. And apparently, what you're supposed to do is have this already in there. I, think, I feel like this is too much, man. I don't know. I don't want to get stuck. Have some already in there before you turn it on. And then have another one ready to go. Sister Schubert's is done. Sister Schubert's. I was watching Tiger King, that Tiger King documentary before this, and I should not have done that because it just brought out my inner redneck and making fun of them. So we have another ball ready to go. But Carol definitely killed her husband, man. Jesus Christ. It's like, it's, I don't know how blatant it needs to be, but, but, uh, so let's turn this thing on. We'll find out what happens together. There we go. Things happening. Are things happening? There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Let's watch it come out together. <laughs> Nothing's coming out. Oh. It just like, I don't know what just happened to it. <laughs> Hello? It just like wrapped around the auger. It didn't actually like come out. Okay, okay, okay. What's happening? What is the dough too wet or something? What's the deal? So why do I just put it in like that? So I feel like the dough is too wet maybe or? I don't know you could take this out. Cause it just like stuck to the auger. Hmm. 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 Troubleshooting on the stream. So, huh. 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 So, okay. I guess we'll try again. I don't know if my dough is like too too loose or didn't rest long enough or what, but let's see if we can try something here. God. <clears throat> All right, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and add some broccoli to that so it can just start slowly cooking through a little bit, not crazy.
She totally did kill her husband. All right, so not quite sure what happened there, but let's try it again, I guess. If this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna roll it out and make ravioli or something, I don't know. Try it again. God's name is wrong with this thing. Of course this doesn't work. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> I guess my dough is too wet. I don't know what's happening. This dough feels fine to me as far as pasta go does, goes. But it's just like it's not coming through the extruder. I don't know. Maybe it hasn't rested long enough. I said I've never used this thing before, so I mean this dough feels fine to me as far as pasta goes, so I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I'll get this damn thing out of here, dude. See, it just wraps around the auger. It's not feeding through. So I don't know if the dough is too firm. I don't know. It feels like it's too firm now. So, I don't know what to do. Looks like we're just gonna roll this shit out the old fashioned way, I guess. And do it that way, because for whatever reason, and some more stock to this. My dough is not coming through this extruder like I planned. So, what we'll do is, I guess, just roll this out, man. I'm just gonna put this on top of that as best we can here. I mean, I don't know if I did something wrong with the dough. I don't think I did. It feels fine to me from what I've made pasta in the past. But hey, who knows? Pasta is weird. So I'm gonna rip off a fresh piece from the dough. We're gonna put some more semolina down. Okay. 
kind of spread that around. We're gonna kind of improvise here, I guess. So we're just gonna kind of roll it out now, and then we'll just cut it ourselves. Like the old grandmas used to do and still do in Italy. I guess we could actually laminate this too. It's parsley itself. Folded it over on itself once. Tip the machine? What do you mean, like tip it like my way? Like tip it over? I don't. I don't know if it's that. I think it's like. I think it's just the dough is either too. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. This is looking pretty cool. We're just getting it thin. Hey, look at that. Check that out, man. Is that parsley in there? making it super thin and even. So I guess this will be more of a fettuccine slash linguine kind of, oh shit, pasta. Now, that looks good, man. Right there, perfect. Hell yeah. So then I'm gonna turn it around this way. Semolina. Oh, God. Just want that broccoli to cook a little bit. And now I can basically do what I did in culinary school and just make. Our own pasta here. Which is stuck because my knife isn't long enough to do this. In one fell swoop. Homemade pasta was always like the bane of me. Like I always never understood it for whatever reason. Like I can never tell like what constituted a good dough or if it was too dry or too wet or it rested long enough or all that so I never really messed with it too much but this laminated parsley dough looks pretty cool huh so we're just making like little linguine style noodles here or fettuccine I don't know what the how what thicknesses makes it the difference but it's one of those This is going to cook really, really fast. Like we're talking like one, two minutes maybe. That's it. Looks 
sweet. So check that out, man. And then we used to do this thing. Boom. Check out that pasta, bro. Pasta. And you can kind of mix it around in the semolina so that way it doesn't stick together when you put it in the pot or when you're just kind of sitting there. And that's fresh pasta, baby. That parsley and laminate, fresh parsley and laminated into the pasta. So you can call it fresh parsley pasta. Turn this heat up on this bad boy here. And I'll make you, make you, make you one more time. Yo, if y'all haven't heard of this, a girl called Tones and I, T-O-N-E-S and I, Tones, like music tones and I. This girl from Australia, that girl can sing. Her song called Dance Monkey, I'm like addicted to it right now, I don't know why. <laughs> but it's a good song. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to cook this pasta. And by the time this pasta cooks, we're going to throw it right into the sauce and we're basically going to be done. So I'm just going to save this other pasta dough for later and maybe try it. The extrusion again. After it rests, maybe locks up. She's like a interesting looking girl too. <laughs> but she can sing, that's for damn sure. And you make me, make me, make me wanna crack. All right, so wait for this to come to a pretty decent boil here. How long we've been live for? How long we've been live for? Oh, about an hour, cool. I don't know where Dark Chance is, man. I'm not quite sure where he is. But we got our parsley dough here. So it's it literally has pieces of parsley laminated into the dough. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to hold it up to the camera. Wait for the massive delay from an iPhone to Twitch because that's what it does. So yeah, you can see that dough in there. The parsley in the dough. So we're gonna drop this pasta in. And it'll kind of start to float. And then we're gonna pull it out with this. What is thing? What is thingy? And we're gonna put it right in our sauce and we'll be done. So, all oh, semolina everywhere, bro. off here I hate working with flour man it doesn't matter what kind it is it just gets everywhere all right so this pasta is already almost done I can feel it in my bones Whoa. So basically, I'm just gonna let it go a little bit longer just to make sure it's done. But you don't want it to be too cooked. Yeah, buddy, that's almost done right there. So it literally is that fast when it's fresh. Maybe a little bit longer just to make sure. Just a touch longer.
but yeah, I don't know where Dark Chance is. Homeboy is gone. And Germany has taken him. All right, so this pasta is good. Right, so I'll take it out. Strain off some of that water. We'll use some of that water in this sauce as well. Kind of loosen her up. Oh yeah, baby. These last little boys in here. Boys and girls. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Give her the old tossy toss. Do a touch more salt. Touch more pepper. Do the rest of our parsley. And we'll do some more parm. Just touch more parm in there. And you got fresh pasta, man. That's it. Boom. And then what we'll do is we'll take our handy dandy tongaroos here. I guess I should take pictures of the pasta and sh like before I cook it, you know? Have like a cycle of pictures on Instagram. I need to be a better streamer. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that stuff yet. But this came out actually really well considering the like, extruder didn't work anymore. So homemade pasta, man. Is that easy? It actually came out to be like the perfect portion too. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it, man? Huzzah. That looks actually really good. Came out real well. A little more parm. And some, maybe some fresh parsley leaves on top to kind of tell people, like, yeah, we made put the effort in to make laminated parsley so we're gonna tell you what's in it it's parsley <laughs> it's an empty room be all right all right parsley and that is the lay dish I feel like there's flour all over my kitchen floor now, but hey, can even get fancy, get some parm around the plate. Just be like, yeah, there's parm in there too. We're giving you clues to everything that's in this dish right when you see it hit you at the table. It's kind of the idea. A little more on top, kind of getting the, it's almost going to look like snow on that parsley. And that's it, man. The dish is done. And there's Sister Schubert rolls in there too, but don't forget about them. <laughs> yeah, there's flour everywhere. Jesus. But now, I have pasta. Duh, why does there water keep getting in this thing? I drain it like every day. Lord. All right, that's the dish. So fresh pasta. Hot Italian sausage. Um, yeah, the Sister She Rolls. <clears throat> but all in all, I wish the extruder worked because I really wanted to see that in action. I don't know what I did wrong, but 
we'll try it again. Maybe tomorrow we'll try something else. After the pasta can kind of like sit overnight maybe, maybe that'll help. I'm not quite sure, but. That is the pasta. We'll get a close up here in a second, hold on. In a badass. Is that North American badass? Is that how that's supposed to be? Are you a badass of North America? I believe it. I believe it, sir. Or madam, whatever you are. Ugh. But yeah, here you go. Homemade pasta. I don't know if you can actually see any of the pasta. There you go. So it's fresh Italian flat leaf parsley pasta. I laminated some leaves into the dough. Hot Italian sausage, broccoli, all kinds of good stuff. Quick Parmesan cream sauce and then Parmesan cheese. Right? Who is that? Who's in a badass? I don't know who you are, but it's awesome that you're in here. <clears throat> Go ahead and drop a follow if you like the food, man. Eight followers away from affiliate, so you know what to do. The healthy crap <laughs> broccoli it's probably the only thing healthy in this dish honestly because it's got a cream based sauce with a lot of parmesan cheese garlic hot italian sausage but yeah man <laughs> healthy crap <laughs> heard that carnivore god damn can't tell anything about your diet by the way <laughs> But hey, it's Easter on me. Who is N.A. Badass? Do I know you? I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you. Do I know you? I don't know. I think I know you. Oh, I gotta take a picture. Gotta take a picture for the socials, man. So people can understand. You know what? I am, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna try it on stream. Why not? Maggie is my mom, if you didn't know. So whenever I go home and visit, they'll definitely get some kind of food. Like I said, I feel like I know you. I feel like I know who you are, but you're not saying who you are. And I respect that as well. <laughs> so, all right, so basically what we got so the homemade pasta, you can see, fresh fettuccine. Nice and moist on the inside. Still steaming, cheesy. Basically, if you went to like a little kind of mom and pop Italian restaurant, this is what I would expect to get. And it would be really good. Whatever you have to ask, it better be respectful. That's all I got to say. Oh. No, I'm not going to go home with the corona happening. That's my choice because I don't want to, you know. I live in a separate state. I don't know how old you think I am, but <laughs> my mom hasn't done my laundry in a long time. But yeah, it's actually really good. So I, don't, I can't believe this is the first time I've ever eaten on stream, but this N.A. badass guy comes in here and just long dicks me into eating on stream. So, hey, we'll do it.
essentially a different state kicked out. I don't get kicked out because of Corona, man. I've lived here for a while. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Red sauce? I mean, maybe. But I feel like with what, what the ingredients are, vibing with it, I mean, the cream sauce is a little bit better suited to what I have going on. So, red sauce would be good too, you know, don't get me wrong, but I don't really want a red sauce tonight. So, but yeah, that's the dish, man. It looks better with a red sauce because of the broccoli. I have chili flakes in there, bruh. I guess you came in at the tail end of it, huh? <laughs> you missed everything I put in there. I got chili flakes in there. I got everything in there, homie. So. Don't you worry. But you gotta have vegetables, man. Builds your immune system so you don't get the corona. You know what I'm saying? But. Oh. Hey, we're at 43 followers. Seven followers away from affiliate. So NA Badass, I don't see your name on here, homie. You should go ahead and hit that follow button and then who knows what. Oh, there we go. Ha! <laughs> see it now so I should be 44 yeah dude when you um stream through an iPhone or an iPad it's so delayed for whatever reason I don't know why but it, it always has been but that's how you do it with a GoPro you know what I mean so the word six followers away I think let it refresh maybe from affiliate and we'll be almost there man I think, yeah. It still says 43, but I'm pretty sure it's 44. I could be wrong. I don't know. There it goes, 44. It is slow. You're right. It's slow. Jesus. <laughs> I forgot my sister Schubert's, man. Talking to this guy got me forgot. I forgot my bread. Do you like watching me eat on stream? Does that do it for you? I need a haircut, but I can't get one, so don't mind my lion's mane slash parrot cockatoo thing on my head. <clears throat> but yeah, that's about it for the stream. I'm going to jump over. I'm going to eat this and then shave it. I will never shave my head again, sir. I'll look 12 years old. But if it gets to that point, then I might have to do it. So stop talking me into shit I don't want to do. <laughs> Is it entertainment to watch people eat? Is that a thing? Is that like the new wave? Watching people eat? I guess so, man. Yeah, but I mean, he doesn't really... Gordon Ramsay doesn't really... I mean, I, said, I guess it's a different scenario. But they don't just watch him to watch him eat, though. <laughs> he does a lot of other stuff. <laughs> what is that? Who's Spock Nation? They just invited me to join their team on Twitch. But yeah, man. So I'm gonna go eat the rest of this, and then I'll probably hop on Doom later today, later tonight, if I'm feeling up to it. Or I might just watch the rest of uh, Tiger King because <laughs> that's captivating for some reason. I don't know why.
but weird shit is happening, man. You're getting water balloons thrown at you virtually. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm almost affiliate, so weird shit is happening. Goals are being met. Things are happening, you know. Good things are happening, which is also weird. So, it's just all around weird, okay? <laughs> I'm eating on stream. That's weird. My cat's right here. He's weird. The other cat's over there. She's weird. My window's blinds are still open when it's dark out. That's pretty weird. A lot of weird shit happening, man. Yeah. A lot of weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. So welcome to the stream, NA Badass. You're new and I like it. Hopefully you enjoy it and my weird ass self and the weird shit that's happening. You and your red sauce and your vegetable hating ass. And then um, I'll get my bread. Don't you worry. The cats have been fed, sir. Don't you worry. They are fed. They eat more than I do. Let's be honest. They're taking more taken care of than me, so. Right, Tom? He said yes. <laughs> so, this is actually really good. Homemade pasta just hits different, you know. Tom and Aurora. Random, long story how that happened, but yeah. Tom and Jerry would be a good good name if my other cat was a guy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop stalling and I'm going to eat this. Thank you for following NA Badass. Thank you for chatting as well. Somebody else followed too. I don't know if you're still in here. Uh, what was your name? What was your name, sir? Cripocracy? I think I'm saying that right. Like hypocrisy, but with the K. I don't know what, if you're combining like your name in hypocrisy, or if you're a crip and you don't like the blood, which is not a hip. I don't, I don't know. So, but thank you for following. We are six followers away from affiliate, which will be awesome once we hit that. We have met every other requirement other than that. So, just six more followers, man. We should be able to get that by tonight or tomorrow. I would hope. Because I'm awesome that way sometimes, maybe. But yeah, we'll do another cooking stream tomorrow. We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll try that extruder again. But until then, stay tuned tonight. I'll probably jump on Doom. That game's just fun to play and might as well stream it, you know? Why not? So if you want to watch that, you can. I know I don't. people don't like watching the video games as much, but it is what it is. So yeah, thank you, NA Badass, again, man, or woman. Well, man, man, woman, and everybody else as usual for being here and supporting me and everything like that. We're almost there to the first goal, so it's good. Good things are happening. Weird shit's happening, but good things are happening too. So that's what that's that's all that matters. So thank you all again. I'm gonna go eat this and go post all the pictures and do my normal routine and everything like that. So stay around for the stream tonight um, or tomorrow, either one. And I will see you then. So thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. It's awesome. It's happening a lot faster than I thought it would, honestly. I didn't think I would get to 44 followers this quick. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't seem like a big number to a lot of people, but it's pretty big to me. So especially since it's been growing organically, not just like rant, you know what I mean? So, but cool. Thank you all again. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see y'all either tonight or tomorrow, man. So, have a good rest of your night. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Stay six feet under. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> night. Have a good night. <laughs>